Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for the end of November. It is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. God, guys, you guys, <laughs> you have cards flipping out everywhere. So let me finish this little spiel and we'll get into it. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome, I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the info is in the description box below this video or in my about section of my website. Okay, so we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, the near future, and then we're going to get into your person's energy, whoever's on your mind, and your energy. All right, so things are moving pretty quickly, it looks like. So in the recent past, we've got the Eight of Cups with the Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like there's well, we know because the Eight of Cups is about you walking away from something. It doesn't have to necessarily be a person. It could just be an energy. But it's you're walking or have walked away from things that were burdening you emotionally. Um, it just feels like there's this consistent pattern for cancers where you're closing out some old cycles. I'm going to scoot that down for you. Hopefully you can see a little bit. And... Um, learning to speak up. Right now, I feel like you're holding back a little bit, though. So even though you may walk away from things, you may not feel like you have to give people an explanation. And that could be what you're getting used to now is like, wait a minute, I can make these choices on my own. I'm going to take these two cards. Because if people were deceiving you or lying to you, and you were in a place where nothing you said ever made a difference, I think you've just resorted yourself to accepting that these people are not working on themselves. They're not particularly wise in the world of spirituality, and they may just be people that are meant to be here to live out the human experience and not go through the same things you are. So with the Hermit in reverse, they could be ignoring the signs, they could be ignoring all these different things, and it's just up to you to decide who of these people are you willing to put any energy into? I don't think most of them. So again, with the Hermit Reverse, you could be coming out of a place of having done a lot of reflection and work and not feeling like you want to talk to people about it or just misunderstood by the people you do try to talk to about it. With the Seven of Swords, that can be so many different things right now with this energy. Yeah, you've dealt with a lot of people who did. And it comes out every single video where there's people who have lied and cheated and stolen and done some horrific things to cancers. It's just part of our experience. Unfortunately, we chose to come here and, and do this. So yes, you've experienced it. You realize it now. You look back. And again, I don't feel like you want to speak up and have conversations with these people. You just want to release things and let them go and let them be in the past. Okay, and then we have the High Priestess in reverse. So needing to focus on, again, your intuition and the fact that people just ignore theirs in general. They don't really want to focus on the things that are around them. They may be very self-involved. If this is romantic relationship or otherwise, it feels more like friends, family, and other types of relationships, but we'll see what pops up for you. All right, so normally I lay everything out, but... That had to come out first. Now, in the current energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. So you're going to have a, a, an opportunity to walk away from things that have really hurt you. And although a lot of you are probably saying, wait, I, I, I thought I already did that. Um, there's always something that pops up. And yes, you'll continue to deal with these types of energies in the future. You're just not going to entertain them the way that you did in the past. So in the near future, we have the Empress in reverse with the Hierophant and then the Devil in reverse. Overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You may be moving kind of slowly. When it comes to your work, you could feel like things are slowing down and that there's not um, a lot of opportunities right now. I feel like there's something you want to focus on. So in the current energy with the Page of Pentacles, or Ace of Pentacles, sorry, this is abandoning or leaving behind things that just don't work. If you feel betrayed. Let's say there's a situation at work and you want a new opportunity. I don't feel that this is something that's coming to you. I think it's moving slow and it may be a little bit frustrating, but here's the thing because then the six of wands wanted to pop out. So this is an idea. It doesn't have to necessarily be that somebody brings you an offer. Right now, I feel like it's a thought. You can put that into motion. 
But what it feels like is that you need to decide what you want to leave behind in the process. If some, if you're done, you're done. So if work's not working out, if there's a project that you feel like needs to come to an end, there will be something new because I feel like those ideas are coming to you now. And it's going to give you the courage to take that step forward and say, you know what? I'm just, I'm over it. I can't do this anymore. Um, even if you have to take a break, let's say for some of you, you may be able to, um, I don't know, file for unemployment if you need to leave a job or something like that. Resources seem to be okay and maybe you just don't want to move yet. But I think the idea is what's coming to you as maybe it's a project. Maybe it's something new that you've been wanting to do. You want to work for yourself. I think the idea is to sit back and relax into the thought process and allow yourself to think of every different way that things could go right and maybe prepare yourself and learn from the mistakes that you've made in the past and get yourself ready if anything does pop up, you're ready for it, but it just feels like you're really done. Now, that is around work situation for sure. I don't think that's around the love. And then we have the six of wands. So trust that what you're going through right now is pushing you into the place that you've been wanting to go. It feels like you've wanted to go this way for quite some time. It could be a shift also or an idea in a current situation. If something's just not working out, you may just need to change the way that you do it. If it doesn't feel like it's satisfying or things have been moving too slow, because as soon as you make that shift, boom, snap, here comes the six of wands saying, this is everything that you could have imagined or that you've been dreaming about. So it may not be fast moving, because he's kind of still, I don't see like really quick motion, but it feels good. So it's like just relaxing into it's okay. It'll be good no matter what I'm getting these ideas and downloads. And as long as I release things that are not making me happy, I can move towards the things that do make me happy and make me excited and bring new adventure and, um, okay, good. And new excitement into my life. So the moon in reverse means that this there's nothing hidden. There's nothing holding you back. If you have had some fears, I'm going to say that whatever those fears were, they're starting to release from you. And then we have the king of cups popping up. So this could be your energy. You just are feeling really good. Maybe you're feeling much more emotionally stable. And I think this is also saying, because it is the water cup, I mean the water um, card, could be saying that once you do this, that's what's going to give you the emotional stability that you've been seeking. It's following the things that really make you the happiest is always going to bring some kind of an emotional stability. Cancers will always be emotional. We're ruled by the moon and we have lots of ups and downs. We have fears because we've had a lot of really tough experiences. So to get to a place where we can trust and accept exactly what the universe is trying to bring to us is a really big feat. So give yourself a pat on the back because you're really getting there. You're getting to the place where you can just trust and accept. Open yourself up to hearing the ideas that I think Spirit's trying to relay to you. Now, I do feel like there's someone who's coming along. I'll get to that in just a second. I don't, here, this is going to be a weird one. I'm just going to let the cards lay because there's so much that needs to come out and be said. Somebody could be coming um, up in your life that wants to try to find balance with you. This could have been somebody that you broke up with. Yeah, this is somebody from the past. But for some reason, I this is such a strange combination of cards. There aren't any secrets, but the two of you don't seem to be together. There's a lot of love here with this person and they want to find balance, but they know that you don't always see eye to eye. So this could be a real big challenge for some of you. Somebody's coming in. It it's something that created a lot of stress in your life. Or you could be feeling like when you're with this person, you don't feel strong or they they wear you down is what I feel like. And that just creates a lot of sadness. And I don't think you want to go through that again. So for some of you, yes, there could be somebody popping up in your life or you could be dealing with this right now. And it's difficult to decide what you want to do. If you love this person, but yet there's so much conflict or they seem to love, but there's a lot of conflict, there's a reason that it seems like you're releasing whatever that is. It does feel like somebody definitely has taken from you, taken you for granted, all of those things. And you being done and just focusing your energy on work for some of you is going to be a good idea. Then, all right, we're really going to be doing this strangely. 
in the current energy, you could then, after you close out the cycle of the person I was just talking about, if you haven't already, then that's going to open you up to the idea of new love. Do I feel like you're 100% ready right at this point? Maybe not. Maybe some of you just want to wait, but the opportunity is going to show itself to you. So just be prepared. You could just be happy being single too with the Ace of Cups by itself. It doesn't always have to mean that there's new love coming into your life. It could just be, hey, I'm pretty good the way I am right now. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, let's clarify that really quick. So the Page of Swords. You may have somebody who's a little bit tacky in their ways that watches you or... Um, this is somebody I feel like tries to blame you for the reasons that things didn't work out and they're lying. They're lying through their teeth and people b might believe they're BS, but just know that that could be the case. Or you might have somebody who's not very open that you meet in the future. Just be cautious and aware that you're learning lessons around figuring out what is truth and what is untruth. All right, so I'm going to get to the near future. The Empress with the Hierophant and the Devil. There's a marriage I feel like that wears on you and just has, has pulled you to a place. This isn't going to be for everybody, but those of you in a high level of commitment or a marriage, I feel like this has just brought you to a place where you feel like you can't take much more. The Devil in Reverse is releasing any kind of toxic energies around a relationship that is like this. You could also be having your your faith tested with this situation. It just feels very difficult. And when the Empress is in reverse, she doesn't feel like herself anymore. So in the near future, it may be a little bit difficult. If you're trying to get out of a marriage, it could feel like um, this person might give you a little bit of a challenge, but it, it just feels like a tough energy. Like you're going to have to go through the tough part and then find your way to the other side of it and regain who you are. I think you will. No doubt about it. We always do. We come out the other side. We don't think we can get through things and then we shock ourselves with how much we can get through. So for some of you, that's the case. For others of you, it's just going to be, um, I think you're just praying to find your strength again. Like, can I get to a a higher level. You could also be wanting to study something. Um, have faith that you're going to be shown the signs because you're going to get where you're meant to be going. I, I keep wanting to say, trust the process. All right. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. That's amazing because that's clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. And then we have Ace of Cups again. So you have new beginnings around your work situation and you're going to have new beginnings around your love. Like I can't, you can't make this stuff up. Two decks of cards and they both come out. This is huge. So it feels like for some of you, everything in your life is about to change. And I think we've been working our way up to this. Every one of the readings I've done for you guys in the last couple of weeks has said, there's just such major uh, change and great things happening for you. So new opportunities, good money, money's going to shift and change. This is loving yourself and also being open to a new possible relationship for those of you that are single. Being very successful. I just feel a lot of success. Now, the Knight of Pentacles pops up. There could be kind of your knight in shining armor that shows up for you in your life. Male or female, doesn't matter. It could be somebody that just comes in and is very stable but doesn't move too quickly and they like to open up to the idea of getting to know someone. You could be a little bit defensive at first. Because if you've dealt with this, which a lot of you have and all at different times, then you could be just, you know, a little bit like guarded or they could be someone who really defends your honor in the long run. If they, you know, you discuss what you've been through, things like that. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who understands. They get it from a different perspective. They're somebody that would protect you and take care of you. That's masculine or feminine. Feminine energies can be the same way. When we come in and we're serious about someone, we like to be really grounded in our energy and defend our partner. So I feel like it's kind of both situations. You may feel a little defensive, but then again, you may have somebody who's okay with that and is willing to defend you and understands where you are in your life. Oh, all right. So we have the King of Cups. Fly out in reverse. Yeah, this to me says that you have somebody that's either shut off their emotions or emotionally unavailable. And it definitely feels like a marriage. So for those of you that aren't married, I get it. It's 
kind of hard to watch a reading where it's like, this is just not me, but it could be a high level relationship too. It doesn't have to necessarily be marriage, but I've got both my marriage cards here. And then we have the four of swords. This could have happened to you years ago and it's just coming back up and you're realizing that you're closing out a cycle of repetitive relationships that started with a marriage some years ago, or this is currently happening to you now, which is putting you in a really reflective type of energy, thinking about, okay, how did this go? What did I learn from this? Do I, I need to understand that I don't want to repeat the same type of lessons. I don't want to invite people who lie and cheat and steal and do all these things. I want to make sure that I protect myself with the seven of wands so that those don't get past me again. It's learning how to not only love yourself, but accept love when it shows up that is actually healthy. It may feel really foreign, but there's this process you go through when you go through your healing where you start realizing that not everybody who's good is looking for something and that you don't have to always chase or fight to get love. And that's something I think a lot of cancers had to deal with. That was part of the cancer path was having difficult love relationships in childhood where you constantly felt like you had to prove yourself or get approval or fight for love. And now we're at a place, cancers in general, doesn't matter how old you are, where that's not going to be the case anymore. So you could be realizing that as well. It's releasing a lot of these old patterns, the devil in reverse, and putting things behind us. You could be dealing with Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Aries, um, strong water for sure. Sagittarius, I feel strong Scorpio as well. And you could have a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but the stronger energies are the ones I mentioned before. I don't see as much of the earth energies. Doesn't mean that you can't have them. All right, what do we have? Then we have the Ace of Swords. I think there's something that just has not been really, really clear to you. You could feel like you're a little bit in the dark about this person, their actions, maybe the things that they've done. You could still just feel like you're a little in the dark in general. So that moment's going to come where you have the clarity that you need. But I think the primary focus is on you a still. Still we're in a place of loving ourselves and learning to and focusing on the successes that are coming. Um, it isn't just all about that. It's about self-love. It's about the love of, you know, God, the universe, whatever you... Um, I want to say pray to, but... You guys know what I'm saying. It's it's all about all of that. It's not just about seeking money. So I'm not saying that that's your only primary focus. Love is obviously the greatest healer. So learning to be in loving relationships and accepting them and being open to them is going to be huge for you. I think that's the biggest change you're going to be going through towards the end of the year. All right, so I'm going to clean up this mess. So think about the person that is on your mind, whoever that may be. And we'll see what the energy is with that. It could be completely different from this main reading. All right, so when I pick up the cards, I've been saying whatever shows up on the top, because I always put them back this way, is the primary focus. And this is about people in your life that have definitely taken advantage. And now it's time to cut your losses and basically run. All right, let's look into your person's energy and your energy. This is for cancer. Let's scoot these over. Okay. So your person's energy is the fool in reverse with the three of wands, the king of wands, and the empress. Interesting. I think this person's ego gets the best of them at times. It's like... A part of them seems to only be focused on their own future. They don't really, I don't know. It's like they're patient to see where things are going, but I just don't feel like you feel empowered by this person's energy. It's like they're turned away. So this may be the same person that's in the main reading. I don't think this person's willing to or open to wanting to come back, strangely, now, they could just be focused on what's going on in their lives. If you're currently with this person, they could just have a lot of passion. Um, 
about what they're doing. I just feel like this is a very self-focused energy. So yours is the Seven of Cups, Devil in Reverse again, Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. So putting behind you any kind of hurt and pain, things that were keeping you up at night, this is a lot of releasing of toxicity. I think there might be third-party energy. This could be you. You could have somebody else that you're interested in if this person isn't is going to constantly be focused on themselves. You may be like, eh, you know, I'd like to make it work, but I'll leave my options open if this person's not going to show up. Because right now, I don't think they see your worth. I feel like they're turning their energy away from you. So their focus may not be as much on you as it was for you, at least in the beginning. I think there's a part of you that would like to come together and maybe work things through. But I feel like your person's energy is completely turned away. All right, let's see. Right now, it's, to me, I think you're actually kind of confused. All right, I'm going to shuffle this really quickly. Let's see. This is for cancer. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This is all about letting go and healing. So this must have been a very difficult relationship. Love yourself first. Look, guys, there are, I don't know how many cards in this deck. And to have these three cards come out is really poignant. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This is all about healing and releasing. If this person's turning their back on you, then yeah, this was a marriage, a difficult one. Although there may have at times, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Basically, I'm, I think what they're trying to say is if this person's turning their back on you, or this is just not working out, could have been you that turned your back because there's so many other issues. This is really about don't try to hold on to or control anything. I know that's hard. Um, people have to heal family issues. That's just part of what you go through. If you really want a healthy, strong relationship, it's about healing childhood wounds. Love yourself first. That's the key to finding true, true love and happiness because people aren't going to change. If this person has shown you that they have one side to themselves, I do think it involved marriage, then that's who they are. That's who this person is. From a spiritual perspective, they were there to teach you, to trigger you, and to bring you to a place where you could love yourself more than you love anyone else and find really healthy relationships from this point forward. All right. I think the passion card on the bottom of that deck was saying, have passion for yourself and find the passion that you want in your life. Okay. This one, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. That's incredibly, wow, to go along with this reading. Imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Incredible. Life is a constantly shifting, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. I can't tell you how incredibly synchronistic these cards have been for you today. And I hope you stayed to watch this for whoever this was really for. Because these cards always seem to say exactly what you need to hear. And they're not usually um, these three that are very specific to what I feel like whoever needed to hear this needed to hear. Like I said, these are usually about true love or passion or whatever. And same with the lover's oracle. So this was a needed message for somebody. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the wisdom of the oracle. So we have exchanging gifts. This is a nine. That's endings. In other words, the gift that you're giving to each other is releasing each other from a not healthy relationship. All right, so blessed because after that, that's what comes in. The relationship that is going to bless your life. And then we have, look at that, unfinished symphony. That doesn't mean that there's unfinished business between the two of you. It means, yeah, and then time to go came. It means that you're going from a nine to a 10. So things are changing in your life and you are incredibly blessed. While you're going through this pile of what feels like, not just a pile, a bag, a ton of shit that really hurts. 
it's hard to hear that you are going to be blessed after you make the decision to love you first and to put you first. It is time to leave whatever this situation is. It's time to walk away. It's done. It's, you've got nines, three nines. Like, it's done. And um, or maybe not three nines. Sorry, guys. Nine and nine surrounding the two. And then you get the new beginnings with the blessings in the middle. So building blocks and then rebuilding your life, which is a 10. Two tens, two nines. Incredible. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Um, my heart's with you if you're going through this right now. I really do feel for people who are going through this tough part of this challenging soul growth. I love you so much. If you'd like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below this video or in my about section. Thank you so much for all of your support, your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. And I love you to pieces. And I hope whoever this is happening to you get through this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.